I credit God for giving me the courage, the perseverance, the endurance, the assurance to move forward. Grace on a journey. As you get to learn yourself, as you begin to delve in inner standing, take that opportunity to learn about your lineage, about generational patterns, about successes, about flaws, about victimization, about domestic abuse, emotional abuse, psychic abuse, and the lies being told. No one should have bored in their dictionary. You are a walking book. And some of you refuse to read. And this is what causes you to be stuck This is what causes you to begin to be jealous and to be evil towards others that were open open to do their shadow work. And those of you who don't know, as I've stressed before, research. I will confess, when I first came across the terminology of shadow work, I halted. I do not practice any types of evil rituals or traditions or anything underhanded. And so when I came across shadow work, I said, hmm, shadow work. But then God reminded me, I gave you a brain for a reason. Every organ is there for a reason. And I told God, I need you to remove the anxiety from me. 
if you approve of me taking that route. I was advised to move forward. I was advised to stick to whatever brought healing. I was advised to study. These things that I learned should have been exposed to me in my very early years. But the collective, as we evolve, we learn better solutions. We're exposed to information that we can adopt and apply in our families, regardless of tradition or custom. If it helps, If it removes toxicity, if it breaks general curses, my dear, give it a try. I grew up in a very religious home. There was only one text to study as it came to my religion. It was discouraged to be open. It was discouraged to express your truth it was encouraged to suppress my gifts due to the lack of knowledge, due to ignorance. But people, those of us that are called, and I mean for real, for real, because I know of the imposters, I know of the doppelgangers, I know of the wannabes. That's a different category. But those of you that was called for real, for real. Many of these obstacles you are experiencing. Many of these crises you are experiencing. Many of these tragedies you are experiencing is because you are refusing, you are rejecting, you are downgrading.
your gift. Your gift from God. And so you remain cursed. I will say it again. And so you remain cursed. Until you surrender to the God of your understanding. The God that is with you when you are looking inward. The God that is with you when you close your eyes. The God that is with you when you are crying in a corner alone. The God that is with you when your spirit is full of regret. The God that told you so. I'm going to say it again. Because we're not going to pretend that we don't get those red flags. We're not going to pretend that we don't have gifts. We don't have dreams that tell us. That guide us. And we reject it and we say the devil is a liar. Am I lying? It is time for us to begin to exercise our minds. It is time for you to understand if you have a dream and you wake up and you remember the dream. The dream is not only a dream. The dream is a message. Will you capture it? Will you accept your gift? I am here to tell you, those of you that repel it, those of you that prefer to remain in ignorance in order to conform to what the masses to what your circle, to what your friends, to what your family is approving. Regret. Do you hear him knocking your door? I said regret is at your door. Embrace your intuition. When you embrace your intuition, you will begin to live your lives following divine guidance. It is divine guidance. And I, I refuse to blame God for anything I've experienced. You have free will.